Let's meet Pip. She's young and lives in London. Pip wants to buy shares in alternative healthcare and beauty company Lab. Today, Lab shares are selling at £2.50. That is the ask price, the lowest price anyone's prepared to sell Lab shares now. The bid price for Lab is £2.45. That's the highest figure anyone is prepared to pay for Lab shares right now. Between these two figures is the spread. Here it's 5 pence. As a percentage, that is 2%. For new small companies such as Lab, the spread can be wide. That's because their shares aren't popular yet. There is less competition for them. It might be harder to find a buyer if you wanted to sell quickly. It is illiquid. If Pip buys 100 lab shares at £2.50, remember, share prices change all the time. Her trade will cost £250. But if she decides to sell them immediately, she would sell at £2.45 each, so would get back £245 and thus would lose £5. After buying £250 of lab shares, Pip snaps up £600 of shares in ABC Durables. It makes supermarket basics such as washing powder and shampoo. ABC Durables has a spin-off industrial plastics arm. It's more diversified than lab as well as much bigger. It sends regular dividend checks to shareholders. Because it performs consistently, its shares are sold and bought all the time. Because its shares are highly liquid, the spread on ABC Durables is much smaller than Labs. It's just 0.5%. However, if bad news hits ABC Durables, there will be less competition for its shares and its spread may widen. The bigger the spread, the greater the uncertainty the market has about that share and the more you could lose if you needed to sell suddenly.